everyone. It's crumble time. Making a wonderful fruit crumble. It's August here in the United Kingdom and I've just picked some fabulous plums from my tree in the garden. So we're going to make yellow egg plum crumble. So let's briefly run you through the ingredients. I've got some flour, some softened room temperature butter, some sugar, some oats, some sweet cinnamon, some ginger, and obviously I've got the fresh fruit. So without any further ado, shall we crack on? Okay, so I've got my flour and I've got my softened butter. And this is a butter product. We have a, uh, a buttery spread in the UK we can buy. Uh, and basically it's butter that the manufacturers have softened with the addition of cream or a little bit of water. So for this particular purpose, I'm using that butter product. So this is very similar to the process of making pastry by hand. We're looking to rub the fat into the flour with our fingertips. And if you can see my thumbs, they're working in sync with my fingertips to produce a breadcrumb like texture. So now our crumble resembles a lovely breadcrumb texture and there's a couple of tiny lumps, but you know, I'm going to be honest with you, when we mix this with sugar, they will blend in quite perfectly. So let's add the sugar. I'm using white sugar. You can use half white, half brown if you prefer. Okay, that's mixed in. I'm going to throw in the sweet cinnamon and the ginger. And what we need to do now is to give that a good mix up. And the sweet cinnamon and ginger is just going to give the crumble a beautiful, mildly sweet and slightly spicy finish. And I adore anything ginger flavour, especially in cookies and cakes. So our crumble is now ready to put on top of the fruit. So these plums are absolutely wonderful. But what they do... When we've, if we can get the stone out the, uh, the middle, they will completely collapse once they're cooked. I'm going to put two layers of plums in my dish. My dish is nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches by three inches. And I want to put about a, an inch and a half crumble topping on top of a two inch deep layer of plums. So, Obviously, I'm just going to use halves, plum halves. So the first layer of plums. So I'm gonna do the second layer of plums and you're probably wondering why we haven't put any sugar in yet. And the reason for that is because these plums are quite sweet. We're going to heavily sugar the crumble topping, but I am going to put some sugar in, but I want to get the two layers of plums in my crumble first. Fabulous plums. I'm so lucky to have this plum tree in the garden. Okay, we got to, and then that, once again, I can't emphasize enough, these plums will sink once they're cooked. Let's get a couple of tablespoons of sugar and just sprinkle around the top. It's entirely up to you. If you want this super sweet, then use extra sugar. I'm just using about two to three tablespoons over the top there. Now, all we need to do is throw the crumble topping on. So I'm just gonna sprinkle our crumble mix over the plums now. And we are going to go over the level of the dish. But that's okay, because obviously as the plums cook, our crumble will sink during the cooking process. I'm gonna sprinkle literally a couple of tablespoons of oats, and then I'm gonna just gently mix them around, try and spread them out over the top of the crumble. 
So every portion of crumble for your guests. They're going to get a few oats in each mouthful. Okay, that's now ready for the oven. So after half an hour, you can see the crumble is ready. You can see it bubbling away. The sides have got that lovely, beautiful syrup going on. And that, well, you wouldn't want to eat it now, but I would let that settle for about 20 minutes. And I've now served that with a big dollop of vanilla ice cream or even a gorgeous vanilla flavoured custard. Beautiful, homemade, fresh, yellow egg plum crumble. So it's time to cut a portion of crumble. Look at those gorgeous stewed plums underneath that crispy crumble with the oat finish. On goes a little drizzle of vanilla custard as promised. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope everyone's enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, maybe you'd like to subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you all very, very soon. Time for me to get stuck in.